A lot more parents are seeking confirmation on the paternity or otherwise of the awards from the DNA Center at the Kolobu Teaching Hospital. From an annual rate of about 150, the center is handling almost 800 as of December 2013, with patronage likely to spike following recently published high-profile cases. Now, though this means good business for the center, there is growing concern that the outcome of these tests is leaving a trail of destruction with children having to bear the brunt. Eric Curtis Howard, in the following report, explores the subject of paternity testing. With my caution, be careful what you wish for. It used to be the case until a few years ago that most parents, especially fathers, after their spouses deliver, only need to see some semblance in the looks of the baby to convince themselves that they are indeed their true parents. The availability of the DNA technology at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital has however changed all that as far as Ghanaian parents are concerned as they now have it within their reach, an option which was otherwise quite expensive. Dr. Theophilus Adiku, acting head of the immunology department which operates the DNA laboratory, explains you no longer have to wait for your world to grow up before you use their physical appearance such as height, looks or skin color to determine whether they are yours biologically? No. Currently, we use what we call um, the, the areas that we test. There are, we call them the locus, locus of the gene. So this genetic lo lo locus, plural is loci. loci. <laughs> we test 16 loci, 16. And all the 16 must come out positive. If one is negative, we reject the result. Dr. Diku says there have been quite a number of male and female clients working in to verify the paternity or maternity of their wards. Most of their cases, however, are referrals from the courts. A sizable number of the requests that come to them, he adds, is also from the embassies for persons seeking to migrate to join their relatives abroad. If you are coming with a child without the mother's uh, 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 consent uh, or secretly, mm -hmm. normally this center doesn't have the such policy. We don't want to, have, because that could also be abuse of the child. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a lot of children, there's a lot of our children. So this center will have a policy, we have a protocol that doesn't also allow that. Mm -hmm. So you need to, if the mother cannot, there must be legal counsel or rep to represent that child that indeed you come in, not that you can smuggle the child and then come and say, Dr. Deku, I want to check this in there. The findings of these tests have consequences. Fathers cease to bear responsibility for children, we've always called them daddy, with consequences for the mothers of such children, or in some instances, mothers suing hospitals over claims their babies may have been swabbed at birth. Dr. Teopilos Adiku believes the consequences for the children especially can be damning. There are cases where um, a child may know a man as a friend. The parents, I mean, people, the relatives introduce this a friend, but somebody, I mean, in, it, it happens that he might be the father. So he grows up knowing this man as a friend of the family, not knowing that uh, he is actually his father. So if the child gets to know this, you can now see the emotional uh, trauma, stress that the child will undergo. So such cases, um, we may have to cancel them separately. And then after the test, if it puts prof uh, uh, positive, we just release the cases, the results to the courts, and then they will then determine the... So. Will you cough up the 950 Ghana cities needed to verify the paternity of a child you've always believed to be yours, if you have reason to suspect otherwise? <laughs> Or secondary school, maybe a school. Ah, we have been a university now. They know what we are doing. Because your ma, me wa also wa ni. Tam ben na abesan ma be ubiu. Amo asan yam kwa lai. Said your ma ni a also ni a also ni kui. Tibi ngongo kwa yekwa na the problem biaba. 
ade ya odia no hu aye odia wo hu kra wo yemi kra betumi ahye eh nti e hu nya kra se me kwakoy kra cause ade ya odia na ya odia tell me say blood is thicker than water these others however we want to even though not all of them are eager to throw out the children they find not to be theirs First born for you know, about 95% your mom for you. second born, that was a rare challenge. No, but you idea. Hey, I thank God. So, you be crying here and I'm here. So, what do I know? I feel not a normal can. So, you'll be there. Try your war. Now, if this report is making you to take another look at a child, and makes you want to visit the DNA center, you may want to think twice. As they say, what you don't know won't kill you. Reporting for Joy News, Eric Ettis Howard.